Now, see, Christians preach from what book mainly? The New Testament or the Old? The New, the new <laughs> See, the seals aren't in the New as much as they're in the Old, right? In fact, Isaiah comments on what it might would be. <laughs> Parts of the Bible you don't want to read or deal with. <laughs> yeah. Now, the Bible talks about a lot of things, right? Including sex, right? More than you think, especially in the old. <laughs> At least three people, mm -hmm, one of them a judge, one of them a prophet, had dealings with prostitutes <laughs> of some fashion, right? And sometimes the Lord will have the prophet do something a little iffy to other people, right? Now, I'm not saying what happened to Jessica Hahn is what that is, you know. No, he made her go into porn because <laughs> she had to shoot Playboy or something just to make any damn money. <laughs> That's messed up, Jim. <laughs> you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't speed in the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old old range and you don't mess around with Jim. Do, 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 do. That's the quote, Jim. Croce there. Hey. Hey, kind of sing along with him. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Now. <clears throat> What he did was he was a married man, got this little mousy church girl who was a virgin, <laughs> um, working for his organization in the early 80s, right. to go to a motel room with one of him and his friends, and she thinks they're there to learn about God or something, or do something for the church or something that's kind of going to expand, right? She thinks she's in some kind of private meeting where they're going to use her somehow for God. And then, no, no, they raped her, they raped her. They almost roofied her, right? But they won't admit what they did either. either. <laughs> See, that's not confession, Jim. <laughs> you line your butt off because you know you will be viewed as less than, right? You're no better than the men who raped the Levite's concubine in... Killed her by morning. <laughs> you also don't read that story to every Christian. I never heard that story at all. <laughs> I heard Sodom and Gomorrah, right? But why am I pointing it out? Some men can still have sex with a woman wanting a man. <laughs> Damn. Don't you get that? <laughs> Not me, per se. But this is really in your Bible, and you don't focus on it, do you? <laughs> Why is that? You know, they were wanting the man to come out. They sent the, the woman out. The virgin daughter, I guess, they kind of kept in. I don't know what's going on there. Right? <laughs> there was two women <laughs> and two men, <laughs> and they had to use the concubine as kind of the, I don't know, seeing it. <laughs> But they abused her all night till morning and knew her till morning, right? It's just excellent. It's in the Bible. <laughs> the Bible does not use the word sex. <laughs> it uses the word new. Right. Now, when Moses is saying they sex, that they were naked, <laughs> that's what he means. <laughs> no. Right. He's saying they knew Satan <laughs> and saw with him they were naked, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas before they knew each other, right, up to the seventh day, right? Then, right, so. Mm hmm I'm guessing within 70 years of that day, not sure how long a year day is to the Lord anymore, 
but I get several numbers up to 120,000. <laughs> that would be close to 240, right? <laughs> Ain't they still, uh, that what they say is the earliest proof of human existence? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See what I mean? Right. But again, but again, <laughs> you won't really apply what's being said. Mm -hmm. Right. Instead, you misidentify what's being said like they did in Jesus' day. Now, one thing they weren't doing is they weren't taking care of their parents in their old age like they were supposed to, right? Yeah, yeah. They were just putting them in some kind of, I guess, first century nursing home, it sounds like, right? And having other people take care of them instead of taking care of themselves like they were supposed to do. That's part of what that was about, right? <sighs> mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus called them hypocrites, right? Now, religious people mm -hmm, always do this. They focus on what they think is important. Like Paul saying, I have no commandment from the Lord about some of the things you're asking me, but here's my opinion on it, right? Right. He's basically saying this is opinion. Well, that ain't what Moses said, right, about premarital sex or sex, right? See, if you teach from the New Testament only, Sheena, you're going to get confused if somebody's reading the Old Testament. <laughs> right. You might not even think you need to tell me Something you're supposed to tell any man you go off with in the heat of the moment who you just met. <laughs> now, this ain't to embarrass you. This is to help us both get over what happened, right? Because don't tell me you didn't act crazy that I had sex with you instead of oral. <laughs> Normal people who knows what a male's really after would know if you had told me I'm waiting for marriage. I wouldn't have done nothing. <laughs> I know the song, Don't Hand Me No Lies and Keep Your Hands to Yourself. <laughs> but the problem was, you didn't want that. <laughs> you also didn't specify about oral or not oral. And you don't bring a blanket, honey, <laughs> for just oral. <laughs> Without telling the man I'm waiting for marriage. That's all I'm saying. I didn't know what you were wanting from me. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think to ask either, I guess. That's all I can say. <laughs> but see, all I can do is, is ask. <laughs> or not ask and assume. <laughs> well, you assume that was oral sex. <laughs> That's why I said I must have enticed a virgin who didn't really have sex yet. Right. <laughs> and was trying to also... Do what Moses said, which is legally marry you and ask your hand in marriage. Now, was our ship headed towards Jerusalem? I didn't really know at the time, but I was kind of making that observation. Right. And inviting you, if we both went to our ship over to Jerusalem, we could get married with me. That also didn't mean I was open to other suggestions either. either. <laughs> But again, then I felt like you were dead to me. <laughs> right? I don't know what the hell's going on with you. <laughs> you tell me about some prophetess from your church telling you to beware of me. Almost making me feel like, okay, well, she didn't want sex for what did she want? Oral? <laughs> well, I don't do just oral. <laughs> anyway, oral leads to sex with me. Right. <laughs> I thought we talked about some of that night before, but I'm not sure. Right? Well, sometimes the thing about sex is it can be smooth, honey. <laughs> it can be good. <laughs> not rough. I'm not a rough man. <laughs> You're not a rough man. Right. I make love to you. And I thought you wanted me to. But you could have told me before I did. <laughs> so you could have told me before you did. And why am I doing an autobiography, Sheena? You got nothing to hide. I got nothing to hide. You didn't tell me you were waiting for marriage. Right. That might embarrass you that you didn't think you needed to tell me that, but most people know. 
what a man's after when he's with a woman alone, Chuck Sex. <laughs> you can't say you didn't know that, honey. <laughs> Daphne or Sheena either, right? Right. Because <laughs> I had the longest relationship with Rose, you, Stephanie. <laughs> And even then, she's having, you know, husband problems. You're having daddy issues. and you know. Right. <laughs> now, the problem is, a lot of starters is in the Bible, too. Right. Well, the problem is, carnal men are going to do the opposite of that. Right. Well, you're 19 and I'm 23, remember? Right. <laughs> you're no spring chicken, and I'm not sure what's going on in your date life, but I thought you wanted me to be your first real experience and forget about your dad and wipe all that out. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> with the memory of making love to a man who was wanting to go all the way with you, including to marriage. <laughs> I just read what Moses said about it and felt like I was enticing you into it, <laughs> but still really to legally marry you. <laughs> hmm. But then you went crazy on me. <laughs> if the shipmates didn't write you, what was the issue the whole time? Then? Right. I don't know what was going on. I'm asking questions for a reason. Right? <laughs> I don't know why you broke up with me suddenly and what was going on. And Yeah, yeah. Honey, I've heard... A lot of church do some crazy shit who then think they're doing something right, right? They're not. They're not. <laughs> but, like I said, when you meet a strange man, mm -hmm. you let him pull down your shorts and panties, he ain't down there to just lick it without sticking it either. <laughs> and I'm trying to lighten the mood between us even if I can't. You're, you're mad about it. <laughs> You're the one mad. You're the one angry I took advantage of you and had sex with you like you didn't know. <laughs> like you were virgin. <laughs> but it's still not the same as oral either way. Either way. <laughs> when it went to the sex. See, we're making out, kissing, going down, down. Right. Right. <laughs> Now, I don't think me and the redhead the other day did anything on the paddle boat. <laughs> either, either. I'm just feeling, wanting to see more about you than her. And she's not really, you know, putting herself out there that I know of, right? I'm kind of holding back, but <laughs> I got the dream in the back of my mind about being forced by redheads. <laughs> don't know what it means either. <laughs> but I had it when I joined the Navy. I don't know what it means, I don't know. Just I was inside a red female, red-headed female, having sex with her, and I wanted to pull out, and she wouldn't let me pull out, and was kind of putting her feet into my back to keep me in. <laughs> um, it's not that I felt I was raped or anything. <laughs> it's just I don't know what the dream was in detail about, and it just felt weird. <laughs> And it wasn't the sex that was the problem. Was that for some reason, I wanted to pull out and she wouldn't let me. And uh, I don't know if I, if in the dream it would have led to more stuff or different stuff or the real reason, right? It just was a weird dream while I was going out to the church, too, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm with different women from different backgrounds. I admit that. But... You know, some of them were religious, some of them weren't, right? I don't know what's going on, right? All I know is when I get with you, you're telling me about being Pentecostal, how your dad molested you. I'm trying to tell you why I've been through something similar, but I know. didn't quite go into detail, right? But I have been with five women, right? And... I told you I would make out with them, kiss them, do all those kind of things, lead them to say, lead them to say. I thought that was understood. Mm -hmm. I don't know.
But you can't ruin, okay, my new relationships. And that's not you moving on. I oh, know it's not. Even Joyce Byers don't want sex with her dad ever again, right? <laughs> okay, if you're doing me this wrong, I don't want sex with you anymore. I made a mistake and I'm trying to get over it. You won't let me. You won't know, let me. Right? <laughs> we weren't on the same page even though you didn't complain about the sex. I mean, the after the sex. Or before the sex, you didn't tell me you didn't want sex. Right? But that's usually when you bring it up <laughs> during the day. <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> <laughs> but are you innocent or are you just hiding something from me I don't know I don't know and when I read about Eve's rape in the Gnostic Gospels even though it was in, mentioned in the article right? Mm -hmm. that's when I wrote you the letter and sent you the watch for your birthday right <laughs> To protect us both from being raped. Because I'm not a rapist. Right? I don't want no one to be raped if I can help it. But I also realized you can't help rape. <laughs> All you might can do is pray for the guy to be impotent. <laughs> while he's trying to rape you. <laughs> or if a girl. <clears throat> is raping a guy. Which I read about again in the detective magazine. <laughs> I read. When I was still living in Garden City, right? It talked about male rape, where two big girls held down a little guy, a smaller, a shorter guy, and raped him because they couldn't find no one else to be with around them. And uh, that's how it works with a guy, too, right? You can stimulate him differently than a woman and make him have sex with you, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Just as you can with a woman, right? <laughs> Make her have sex with you. The problem is, I thought we were on the same page too that you weren't going to let what happened with your dad interfere with us having sex because I'm not your dad, right? Too, too. And that you were trying to get over that with sex with me, right? Right. Not to embarrass you that people don't do that. <laughs> people do that, honey, even in church. <laughs> I'm not doing it to condemn you. I'm doing it to forgive whatever the hell happened there, right? Let it go. Let it go. I'm over it. You get over it. <laughs> but you can't set me up with the girl mm -hmm. and cause me to lose an hour of time when I'm on the dining table. Oh, no. It's the first 20 minutes that would you be put me over the time anyway, not the other 40. <laughs> I should have gotten out at least 10 to 3. And, uh, and two people can do an L job quicker than one, too. Right. <laughs> I did one recently at, in recent. And that one took about 20 minutes because the woman was doing my hands and the man was doing my toes. <laughs> okay. That took about 20 minutes. But that's cool. That's cool. But normally it takes a little bit longer <laughs> for one person to do it. Right. But not longer than 30 to 40 minutes, right? That's where we're starting to get into my movie time. <laughs> you don't get into my movie time, honey. <laughs> Nobody does that and I not know something's going on. <laughs> Right. Even if you're trying to hide from me what me and the girl did, I know we did something. <laughs> and either I stayed in the chair the whole hour or we went to the bathroom to discuss something, right? That's the only thing I can figure out. There's nowhere else you can really go, right? Because at the end of the store is a door that opens out so you can go outside, right? I don't know nothing about no damn office. I, know. I saw the washer and dryer in the back with a little wall and then <laughs> some stuff for towels a uh, rack for towels and then the bathroom and then the bathroom <laughs> you don't think the girl showed me out the whole area <laughs> she even got me water from the water cooler <laughs> which was against the wall 
That's not detailed enough? That's not detailed enough. To say I know more than an hour and me and the girl was the focal point of even doing the narrow job. <laughs> so why wouldn't I have sex with her if I thought she was 37? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That don't even make sense to me. That's because you're not reading the whole Bible like Jesus pointed out. This God's the Pharisees of his day. <laughs> you're misapplying it. Uh, to, <laughs> you're pretending we can't do premarital sex when the Bible never said that. What it talks about is engagement periods, right? Okay. But if the girl woman's on patrol, then she don't have an engagement period. And a man sleeps with her, he can do that too. He can do that too. And then he's supposed to ask the father's hand in marriage, right? If he does do that, right? That's what it means. That's what it means. Now, mm -hmm, that that's not a shotgun wedding because... The dad could either say, okay, you can marry the girl or pay him so much money <laughs> for devouring her, <laughs> popping her cherry, taking her virginity, and move on. Right. That's kind of what the girl and the guys make me think happened, if he's her dad. <laughs> It's what they're acting like, not me, I you know. <laughs> but whose law are the Jews pretending they're following but not really following? The law of Moses? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now Moses also says if you have a wife and you are a betrothed woman and you marry her before you go to war anyway. I know. Right. That way if you die in battle you have children. <laughs> And maybe one on the way. <laughs> now she might would have to be a single mom. <laughs> but your kid gets your inheritance and things like that. And that's why they practice raising up a seed, right? What that means is if you have brothers or something, right? Or, you know, older or younger, they can sleep with the woman. And that's why I, I guess they asked Jesus the weird question they asked him about. The seven brothers having the one woman to wife, right? Now notice, okay? They didn't say sex either. They said to wife, right? So if you have premarital sex, right? Or part of the agreement is if I marry this man, I get to have sex with his brothers. And they can't get me pregnant. I go down the line, right? Well, only one of the men, men <laughs> she was with and she legally married one of them. The rest of them were raising up seed to the previous brother until they all died. <laughs> then the woman died. Then the woman died. Right. <laughs> but all seven had her to what, wife? I was seeing it that way. She and I was having you to wife and you were having me to husband until we could get back to either Jerusalem or Israel or freaking U.S. Right. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> But well, we were both still in the Mediterranean. I didn't know where your ship was going or my ship was going. But <laughs> we were heading more towards Israel. And we've been there the previous trip <laughs> back in 91 to 92. Right? And again, <laughs> we were there for two weeks. But I guess your ship went in a different direction. What do I know? Well, you, know. <laughs> you were talking about going to France or England or Britain or something. I don't know. I don't know. Right. <laughs> but it still didn't mean, okay, I even understood what you were saying by then. <laughs> or what was going on. <laughs> and then you just made me think you had regret sex with me. You did it, but you didn't want to go all the way. But you did, but you didn't want to... Act like you enjoyed it when you did, but you couldn't say it was rape because we didn't, uh, you didn't say that the whole time. <laughs> it's like you didn't even realize we had sex. <laughs> too, too. Because, <laughs> honey, sometimes I do both with one. Sometimes I do one or the other, even with Mary Bell. Mm -hmm. I just did a missionary the last two times. I got that, right? <laughs> 
Because I'm fed up with having to go back and forth with Ginger. Our car is freaking out. I can't even move on from her without meeting another girl that just is sexual. <laughs> but no commitment from the girl. Right? And she doesn't pop the cherry with someone else too. So I'm like, well, what the hell? I'm not getting to the eat of it. I'm not getting me a virgin here. Right? Even if I'm having premarital sex. Right? So I don't know what the hell's going on. Right? <laughs> you almost feel like someone's raping the girls out from front of you. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what I mean. But like I said, if he's arguing with her about her being 15, she don't want to do the job because she's not going to do it since she's 16. And she's taking up some of my arguments and I'm taking them up. Right. And, uh, none of he is. None of he is. And the only way she can know me is through the guy who owns the slot. Right. And he's stalking me, and he's stalking you because you're trying to find an age girlfriend. Yeah. I'm worried what he would do with her, but he's probably wanting to either marry her off to someone he chooses, like the old-fashioned rude music <laughs> and video. <laughs> Why you gotta be so rude? I'm only human, too. <laughs> I'll marry her anyway. I'll marry her anyway. <laughs> marry that girl, no matter what you say. I don't wish you evil. I don't want you to die no. over it. So, no, no. Ow. There we go. There we go. Halls is bad. <laughs> Throwing his stuff in the damn pool. <laughs> pool. Pool. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But there's someone for everyone, like I said, like you said. And I'm trying to find me someone who can handle what I'm going through, right? And understand I was always like this and I'm just trying to get better, but I'm more chill than most guys that are paranoid schizophrenic, just me. <laughs> me. Even Dr. Wine Rep didn't notice nothing like that when I went through Great Lakes. I saw her for about three months. I don't know. Ali was in the hospital for two weeks and they evaluated him for the schizophrenia. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then they reduced it in Bethesda to bipolar, right? I mean, someone don't want to admit they're wrong, Dr. Carey. <laughs> right? <sighs> you can make mistakes and even diagnose the patient, right? Who might be really having a real experience, religious experience, but it ain't been seen in 2,000 years. Though Paul is telling you what his was like. He not only saw a light, but heard a voice in his head, which only he heard no one else around him. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> so did Jesus. John saw a light descend on Jesus, but he didn't hear the voice that said, Thou art my beloved son. That was Jesus. That was Jesus. <laughs> I <laughs> well, I guess he told them that. <laughs> How do they know? He told them. He told them mm -hmm. Unless you think Joseph was saying the same thing to James, I don't know what it is either. Right? Thou art my only son. <laughs> no. Whom I am well pleased. So. Could that have been Joseph talking to James, who would be to him his first real born son? You know, you don't know. You don't know what it means, I know. But yet, Jesus spoke to Paul in Hebrew and identified himself as Jesus. Sorry. Who was on that, Peter? Peter. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know either. Now, Samuel was around Eli when again <laughs> he heard. The Lord say something, but they were also separated from each other, weren't in the same room, and he's hearing it like a voice in his head. Right? But who would say it? <laughs> Another prophet or Eli himself? I don't know. I don't know. Because he thought it sounded like Eli's voice in his head for some reason. <laughs> damn, damn. 
And I'm hearing things like with Jeopardy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but see, you're still making race an issue. Are you a man? Or are you defined by the color of your skin? When you say you're black or I'm white, you're doing that. I know. I'm not white as you think <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> now, if you 1% or more African, <laughs> do you need to look white to be African? No, no. <laughs> but you wouldn't consider me black enough. Right. It's just racism if I'm African or not, right? If I'm not 100% white and one or two or three percent something else, <laughs> I'm not 100% white either. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. So I'm black too. I'm, black too. I'm just more mixed white. Because <laughs> of the French and English and Scottish, and Irish, and German, and Italian, and Greek, and Spanish, and right. <laughs> all that usually get along anyway. <laughs> no, they <laughs> didn't. But if I was to go by my different races, I'd have to fight with himself. <sighs> Instead of doing that, I'm saying I'm not white nor black, I'm a human being based on being the male of the species. <laughs> it's not based on your hair color. I know. It shouldn't be anyway. I know. It's not based on your eye color, right? Because I've even seen Africans with green or blue eyes, but what's going on? Recessive and dominant genes, right? In the gene pool already, that's what you don't seem to want to understand. Hmm. <laughs> right. Especially the angelic gene, which is the hermaphroditic gene. Right. See, one's the image of a spirit made an adult. <laughs> One is through childbearing. And it would also mean we had sex with one of them, too. Right. Uh oh. Who would that be? Satan? Satan. Right. <laughs> And Jesus was one too. Right. Who do you think, though, is really the problem here? Satan, who's one but thinks he's well, but Jesus, who could become all three and views them all as one. Mm -hmm. From the same image, too. And neither is the man without the woman nor the woman without the man, because we're not independent of each other, we're independent upon each other. Right. Even for the human race of ours, you need a what? A male and female. A male and female. <laughs> you can't even get here and go gay when you're growing up unless you have a mom and dad. <laughs> but I'm not judging you. Right. I'm telling you why some religions look at it as wrong and you can still make the decision with me to be gay if you want to be gay. That's what I mean, right? I'm not telling you I'm gay, but I can accept if you're gay and I'm straight, you know, that's no problem. Unless you're doing something you don't want people to know you're doing. <laughs> and then you're supposed to confess and repent of it too. Right. <laughs> then Jesus forgives you the sin. Right. God forgives you the sin. So you got to forgive the one you sinned with too, Sheena. Right. If you didn't want premarital sex with me, this is not the way for me to move on from you. Right. Or you mean? <laughs> How can we move on if you won't commit to a marriage with me, right? But don't want sex with me anymore. But are sabotaging my current relationship to where I don't even know who I'm with <laughs> anymore. <sighs> and you can't even tell I'm being sarcastic or literal anymore, anymore. I don't know if I really had sex with the girl in the salon, but that's the only reason I would stay behind me. I don't know. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know.
or miss your movie year there to see by three years three ten. <laughs> That's what I keep telling you. Oh, no. You getting confused because you're not reading everything. I was reading everything and I couldn't even know what your problem was. <laughs> That's why I keep talking to you. <laughs> no communication, she. That means what? Simply you don't want to talk about it because it makes you look bad? <laughs> it does. Not me. And, uh, I'm still trying to do the right thing no matter what happened in your mind or mine. Right? But you won't let it go. <laughs> so, you're not letting go of whatever hatred you're Blaming me for it, no. You're hating what we did when you didn't seem to mind it the night of, nor the day after. But when I talked about you getting pregnant, did you find out you were pregnant? <laughs> and that ruined all your plans? And all I can say is if you did something to it, I know the only thing you can do on a ship is throw yourself down the stairs three or four times until you miscarry. And all I can do is forgive that insanity in your head because you're hurting yourself and the baby just cause we had sex and you pretend I'm not a normal male looking for sex. But all I can do is what? Forgive you. Forgive you. Your problem is you think I can read your mind when I can't. And you don't want to hear my side of the story because it makes you look vindictive. And I'm trying to let even that go. <laughs> you understand? I'm trying to forgive both of our mistakes there. Right? Whatever the problem really was. There was a problem. There was a problem. <laughs> and I'm over it, too. Right? <laughs> move on. Move on. Now, what happened with the girl was over a year ago, too. You can't even let that go. <laughs> no. And Daphne, with the DNA test, did have my son, even if you didn't. <laughs> and I would have tried to marry you. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> However you wanted to. <laughs> the woman plans the wedding, not the man, usually anyway. Even if we have free real estate from the relationship. <laughs> but if you do, what do you do? If you didn't even realize you had sex with me, but we had sex and you didn't say nothing about it. Right? And then it looked like you flip out on me. You know? Like I'm supposed to guess what was wrong. You know? When anyone, even people in the church, can have free marital sex. Most of them either get married or they don't. <laughs> too, too. Or they break up. You know? I can't do none of that with whoever this is who's still stalking me. You know? And you're stalking me now because it's a physical thing. You come to my channel every day with no intent of even discussing it, stalker. No intent of moving on from me, stalker. Because <laughs> you're confused about sex with the Bible. I know why. I know why. So was I. I know. That's why I'm showing you things in there. They're not showing us because it contradicts their doctrine. And it's wrong if you contradict the Old Testament in favor of the new. <laughs> it's all scripture. <laughs> it's all in there for a reason. <laughs> and you don't want to hear what it's really saying and God can't make you say the little bitch. <laughs> That's what you let me make you, his wife, not mine. Mm -hmm. Or Jesus's, if you have one. <laughs> but, uh, but why bring her to Jesus? Mm -hmm. 
And even when they talked about the seven men having the woman, <laughs> mm-hmm. who's the woman that went to Simeon's house and washed her hair and his feet with her tears? Is that the same woman? And why? Mm-hmm. Don't she use the ointment and the tears to wash his feet? Is that what the seven men gave to her to have their way with her? Seven times at least. <laughs> and why aren't they teaching the whole truth anymore? The Gnostics stole it from them or the Orthodox. The Orthodox. The Orthodox stole the whole truth, right? That's what. That's what. And now you don't know what going on. Right. In fact, that's why what we have is partially because anything that sounded Gnostic to Constantine, even if it made sense, like the book of Enoch, which talks of again the angels having sex with the daughters of men, and Noah even being an albino. <laughs> Which means he looked different and more <laughs> white. <laughs> like a white gorilla. <laughs> right. That's why. But you have your good night's sleep now. Leave me alone. <laughs>